Hey guys, we're finally back. New Halo achievements means new Halo achievement tutorials, and we're going to be doing the Vidmaster Challenge Annual. For this achievement, you must complete the final level of the game on 4 player co op over Xbox Live. You must be on legendary difficulty, and the 4 players must be in a ghost rather than a warthog towards the end. To get the achievement, you must have the Iron Skull switched on. In the first battle of the level, it's pretty important that you stay in pairs. If you drift too much, then it's likely that you're going to die. The tactic that we used was to stay behind these barriers here, so then you can nip back if you need cover. In the next part of the level, you need to go around this corner here, but make sure that you don't fall down this huge hole. If you've cleared out the previous section to the level, you should get a checkpoint around about now. Always stay over on the right, because the flood are going to come down on your left, and if you're like this, then you can take them out as they run towards you. It would be a good idea to have someone with a grab hammer running up and taking them out from the front. Make sure that you're giving the guy with the grab hammer support, because he can die as easily as you can. Some more flood are going to come down in missile pods. Make sure that you take these out before you move on. The next step is to send one of your players up onto the next platform. When the flood fall down, he should run back and bring the flood with him. This way your teammates can kill your enemy as they come after him. After you've cleared out all of your enemies, move along this platform. From this point on, you should always pair up. You should have two players at the front and two players at the back. This is because enemies are going to be coming at you from all directions now, so you have to be prepared if they come from the back. A perfect example of you getting attacked from the back is on this little ramp here. As you walk up, the flood's going to jump down behind you, and if you've got your two guys at the back, they should be able to take them out. The problem is, there's guys coming from the front as well, so you have to be careful with them. Eventually, when you get to the top, you've got to defend it. After you've set up the auto turrets, I place two people on either side. More enemies seem to come on the left side, so I'd allow the people on the right to drift over if the people on the left are struggling. Once you've taken all of the flood out, you can head inside to fight the monitor. Fighting the monitor on legendary really isn't that hard. The main tactic that you should use is get to the back. If you stand against the back wall, the monitor can't really push you off. Then you just need to throw a few bullets into him and then eventually Sergeant Johnson will shoot him from the back. Once Johnson shot him, you should get up close to the monitor and then fire it in from there. If you're close enough, he can't really hit you with his beam and it'll be really easy. As soon as you get outside, take out any enemies that are still there. Then, if you drop down to where you came from, there should be four ghosts sitting for you. Once you've got the ghosts, use the normal route that you would have if you were in the Warthogs. Try to follow this exact route because it's the safest way. Whilst you're driving through these sections, make sure you don't drive into anything. 
If you do though, just get back on and carry on. Don't worry about it. You need to make sure that everyone's in a line and taking the exact same route. Because if not, they could crash and everything could go wrong. After you've made your way over the next piece of falling platform, everyone slow down and turn around. Then you can regroup and carry on from there. That means that everyone can catch up and be in a line again. For this next piece of falling platform, it's extra important that you're really close together. Because if not, it falls really, really quickly and the guy at the back's likely to fall off. These next corners can be quite tricky, so make sure that you go round them with care. You're now moving on to the final section of the level, so let everyone catch up again. At this next part, always take the middle route. It's the quickest and it's the safest. At this point you should have everyone slow down and straighten up. This way you should be able to do the final section quite easily. From this point on, just stay in a line, stay close together and follow this exact route. This section falls out really quickly, so make sure that your team are close before you carry on. Now all you have to do is head over the final ramp and then you've finished the game and got yourself the achievement. I'll be making more tutorials in the future, so go up to the top and click subscribe. I would like to thank Shadow, Vendetta, Legend, Zenduro and Matbot23 for helping me with this video. Good luck.